Welcome to Small and Supercharged Podmas, a series of chatty podcasts that were first broadcast as lives in the Small and Supercharged Facebook group on the run-up to Christmas. Each short podcast features a member of the Mastermind group talking all about what they have got going on this Christmas. Listen, enjoy, screenshot, share to stories and share your support of these amazing small businesses. And equally, if you want to catch up with some lives, we have got them running all throughout December over in the free Small and Supercharged Facebook group. Just search Small and Supercharged and you will find the Burgundy group. I hope you love them. On today's uh, Christmas live, we're joined by masterminder and all-round legend Becky who is also known as Q Dressage. So Becky can you tell us a bit about your business and what you do? Okay so hello thank you very much for having me first. Um, So Q Dressage is basically um, an online haven of accessories for riding that um, well not just riding but primarily for dressage riders, although anyone is welcome. Anyone um, welcome, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we don't discriminate, you know, you can show jumpers, eventers, you're all welcome. But yeah, because dressage is my passion. So that's sort of my main focus is for dressage riders. Um, and yeah, it's just things to help bring your style, your personality out into your outfits. Um, and I've been running it since 2017. And here we are. And I have to say what I love about um about your products is that I know you handpick them all, but they just are, they're all a little bit different, aren't they? You're not going, you you would find a pair of black um, spur protectors, but they're not called that, spur straps and boot protectors, nearly there. Um, But you will also see like the jelly bean ones or the, Mm -hmm. you know, amazing like snake print gloves, or it's all stuff with a bit of a twist, isn't it? It's all a little bit different. Yeah, because it's all things that actually, like, I was really struggling to find before I set the business up. Um, I was really struggling to find things that were aimed primarily at equestrians and um, that really fitted me because I like things that were a bit brighter. I like prints, like animal prints. I like bold colours. Um, and the sort of countryside aesthetic is not really me. Um, and, uh, like, the fashion industry within equestrian has moved on a lot in the last sort of five years. But I'd say when I set it up, it was still very sort of safe colours, um, which nothing wrong with, you know, but if if that's not your personal style, then, um, then yeah, I was finding it really difficult to find individual, unique, different things. And so I was going to the high street a lot, and I thought that was, like, such a shame that I couldn't find something. And I wondered, like, well, are, are there things out there? Can I get hold of things? And actually, once you start looking, there are smaller businesses that are doing, like, the different things you know not in huge numbers because obviously not everyone wants the crazier colors the different patterns um, but for the people that do I thought if I could bring it all together in one space um, and and if I could find small businesses so you know that what you're getting is really unique um, across the whole world you may be like one of 10 people that has this one thing um, you know just so you can really bring out your own personal style and you know enjoy what you're wearing but without compromising quality you know yeah. everything I have is good quality um you can wear it on the yard you know dog walking or or mucking out or riding and you know it's going to last and it's not just looking good but can't do anything else so that was the two things I really wanted to get was style and practicality together yeah and as you said quite a lot of your products are from like you have quite a lot from America don't you and it's not just UK you've scoured the planet for mm-hmm. these amazing colored brightly colored patterns slightly different accessories for dressage riders and anyone actually as, as becky said it's yeah. not exclusive to dressage riders i'm not just riders as well like you know if there's i've had a lot of people do buy things for friends obviously there are very specific things you know like your spur straps you're not going to be buying for it know, would be weird rider. if it wasn't a rider <laughs> although i have seen them on pinterest i've seen a couple of people wear like this the, the the straps as like um bracelets oh no get that i can see how that could work yeah because they're just really like fun leather so i mean maybe but it's those things are a bit more niche obviously but um but yeah so it's it's yeah anyone there are lots of things that are crossover into sort of outside of of riding itself as well so so i know you've got some product there Mm -hmm. so let's have a look at what you've got and lots of inspiration for anyone who is looking for those Christmas gifts for people or honestly just wants to treat themselves like now or Mm -hmm. after Christmas just go for it so what have you got Becky 
Sure. So I bought, because these are like some of the most popular things I have are the spur straps and protectors from Solarish. Um, so for those who don't know, that's a, it's a Portuguese company who hand make um, all the boots, the long boots, the short boots, the chaps, the spur straps and protectors in these amazing range of, I mean, there are just literally hundreds and hundreds of colours and styles. Um, and I work with Solarish UK, who is run by Kate. And I get um, a lot of their ready to wear stuff because they do a lot of custom stuff. I get a lot of the ready to wear stuff, a royal blue that were glossy. It's faux croc. So it's real leather, but it's obviously not real crocodile. Um, and just things like this are just like so beautiful because I think, especially in dressage, like so many people are adding color now because it used to be like your black, your navy, and that was done. Whereas lots of people are getting the piping or the collars are different or, you know, even going for a slightly different colored jacket now. And you can get little things like this to just pop on your boots to maybe match whatever collar you've got on your jacket. Yeah. Um, and they're just so popular because also like they're So this is beautiful, but also the point of the boot protector is to protect your boots from the spurs because obviously most spurs are metal. So yeah. over time, they will rub away at your boots. Um, and so it's a lot easier to replace these than it is your your whole boot. So there's a practical reason behind the, the, the beauty. Um, but yeah, these are so popular. Like. I get so many people who want them over Christmas. I think they're such like a nice gift that it's like really easy to add a little touch of something to your, you know, maybe you've got ordinary boots or or something. Um, and yeah, like I said, they come in a huge range. So you've got like, oh, this brown one. Oh, is that like a brown patent? Pattern? Yes. And then you've got these three diamantes. So you can have a little sparkle because everyone knows we dressages, we love a bit of sparkle. You, like your, you do like your bling. But what, as you said, what's great though, is that you could have just plain black boots mm. and you could add this sort of touch of them. I know Solarish do incredible long boots. Mm. Um, with, with, you know, with the price tag, because these mm. are bespoke made to order, you can have, I mean, the, their Instagram is awesome with all the amazing yes. color combinations. But yeah. it's great that there's a very, um, there's a level that everyone can access because the spur mm -hmm. straps are not, um you know, price point wise they're very reasonable aren't they and as you say you can add that splash of color and mm -hmm. um, bring out your personality whether you have a pair that you wear at home which are absolutely crazy and then something a bit more subtle for the you know, if you're competing you've got mm -hmm. lots of scope haven't you yeah and um on the website i i photograph them all with black boots like a plain black boot and you can actually see sometimes having that black boot it really pops the color even more so it's it's I think it looks really nice with like actually a really plain boot and then you have like this jazz of colour is like really fun so yeah yeah I think they're a great present and I think lots of people I have so many people that have like huge collections of these that just like love you know little different especially because if you've got different horses or you know different spurs you wear it, it can be nice to just have different straps with each one so you can just like pop them on and off you go. You get matchy matchy to a whole new level as well. Oh, yeah, I mean, incredible, never ending. <laughs> Have you got any other colours there before I? Um, on the website, if you're watching this yeah. or you're listening to it on the podcast, go and look at the website. There is, and, and actually, your Instagram as well, you put them next to each other quite a lot. Mm -hmm. So we can look at the jelly bean versus the, I can't think of any of the names. I can see them all in my head, but. Yeah, so there's like the polished, there's gloss, there's with diamonds, there's without, there's croc, there's plain, and then there's all the colours. And, and as I go, I'm adding all the time to the collection. So it will only get bigger and bigger. And if there are, are any colours that I don't have and you would like, I, I can definitely get hold of it. So you can always let yeah, me know. They have a lot of different leather colours, don't they, over at Slurry, yeah. an incredible amount. Yeah. Um, so a brilliant gift there for anyone who obviously rides with spurs. Mm -hmm. What else have we got? So I thought we could look at next. These are so popular. I haven't taken them out of the plastic yet. Um, but these are the Dreamers and Schemers socks. Um, yes. And people love these because they're just, again, like, why do socks need to be boring? They don't, is my answer. So why not? Because they go under boots. So even if, you know, you don't want anyone to see them, only you. Um, so they are just amazing. They come in two types now, which is one is the the printed um so this is all printed uh it's sort of like a, a thicker than tights but it's that sort of stretchy type material um but it comes with like a cotton foot so that you're not all like sweaty oh, and horrible and also a bit more comfortable um if you're like spending the day in them you know your tight material just on your foot can end up rubbing and stuff so 
Um, and they just come in like this huge range of, as you can see, like this. Pony power, I love that. So that's yeah. pink with a unicorn and pony power, so cool. Yeah. And they just come in like every season they bring out new ones and they just get more mad and like everything you can possibly think they put on a sock, you know, not just horses. They've got food on there. They've got like dogs, um, you know, landscapes. It's incredible the number of patterns and, and stuff they have. And like I said, each season they come out with new ones. Um, so it's just this never ending supply of like incredible, um, incredible socks so these are really great for like holding your calf in like some people like a really sleek feel under boots if you've got a really tight pair of boots i was gonna say that won't really compromise the fit of boots will it no absolutely not and these are great like i wear them year round but especially summer these can be really great because they are lightweight and you don't get too warm but you still want something all the way up your calf um or, or yeah really fitted um fitted boots or if you want these under a thicker pair of socks they're really great you know, as we get to winter, you double up on pairs of socks and stuff. Um, yeah, and then they've also come out with these knitted socks. So these are a bit thicker, a bit better for... Um, oh, wow. Winter. I love the colours. And what does it say? I like horses, not people. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> if there's ever a sock for me. <laughs> no, I can't tell you how many of these I sell. Like, people just are like, yeah, I think we're all trying to tell people <laughs> something with these. Um yeah as you say they're, they're knitted so they're quite thick are they and um, so they're like i would say they're not super thick like they're not like welly socks they're um i would say they're still um they're thicker than tights you know they're i think they're a bit more standard to what we'd think of like a maybe a normal riding boot sock um but there's just a bit more weight to them um and if you prefer like a thicker a thicker feel of a sock then then these are great and, and these are also really generous um sizing if you've got slightly bigger calves because i've got um my calves are quite big and these are, i would say really generous like i like a sock that does come up to my knee um yes. i'm quite like picky but I, I don't know why that's what i like um and these definitely do and they do and you know the pattern just looks great it doesn't stretch doesn't look weird um yeah and this has got like as you can see the rainbow colors on the yeah, building. really bright, but I, I love that because so you don't have to be boring with a sock, even if you're competing or mm -hmm. whatever, it's not seen, it's like your secret, isn't it? Yeah, and especially because actually, not, not on the knitted ones, but on the printed ones, you can see the black um, band at the top, and she did that specifically so that if they do poke out your boot when you're competing, you won't see this. I so love that, that's really cool. cool. Yeah. And so, very, what what's the price on those? I know they're really they're really good value. So there are different. So the the knitted ones are thirteen pounds, um, and then the printed ones they they this range is called the pair and the spare, which because they come with a spare sock, as you can see, it's like sock related. Um, what even is that? Oh, it's a dog. It's a dog. A dog right. with socks hanging around it so basically the idea is that if you buy two pairs you'll get like a spare sock so you get like a third pair effectively for free but this is what you know if, if the socks ever get damaged and you know one sock then you've got a little sparesy so that's what so these are 15 pounds and the ones without the spare sock are off the top of my head 12 pounds sure and i think they're just like they are a really good price point um, I think they're great. Like I sell a lot of Christmas, so obviously stocking fillers, because like every rider, no one's going to complain if you get like a massive bag of socks. And no. if, then... I, I agree with you because there is a thing about oh, you know, you get socks for Christmas. I always think the great socks, awesome. That's, yeah, that's a win. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially as you get older, you're like oh, when you're a kid, you're like I don't want socks, I don't want a candle, and I don't want a hand cream. And now I'm over thirty, I'm like I want socks, I want a candle, I want a hand cream. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Bring on the nice things, like yeah, absolutely. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Um, if anyone has questions as we go, please do put them in the comments, and I will ask. But carry on. Show us what's next. I love this. Never ending. I've got so much stuff ready for winter, which is really nice. Although winter's here, not so nice. But um, oh, the other thing that haven't arrived yet, but um, Dreamers and Schemers, so this company have just bought out um, some scarves, some multi scarves in their amazing prints. Oh, wow. And they're going to be arriving this week, I'm hoping. Um, oh, awesome. So, uh, so yeah, and they've got some really fun prints, so it'll, you can match your socks as well. So they're, they're coming. Because I'm about to talk about um, the Sabot multi-scarf, which is here. 
I've seen this content on your social with your lovely sponsored rider Joe. Yeah. In the different the different ways to wear it. it's such a cool bit of kit, isn't it? Yeah, and they're really great. So um, Sabo, for those who don't know, also do um, headbands and, and knitted hats, which I do have some we can look at. But they brought out this amazing um, this scarf. It's really lightweight. You can scrunch it up and put it in your pocket so you can always have it on you. Um, and it's just great for if you're mucking out or if you're going for a walk or you're riding and you just want that bit of protection, but you don't want to get too hot because I, I really overheat. But one thing is like, if my neck and my ears get cold when I'm riding, and that can be really uncomfortable, but I'll get too hot if I put like a big old scarf on. So these are really great because they're just a really lightweight, soft, silky material that feel really nice against your skin. And because you can sort of see the size of them, um, you know, you can wear them so many different ways. Um, yeah, like I said, on my Instagram, you'll see all the different ways you can wear them, you know, on your neck, then over up, almost like a balaclava, you can have it over your mouth, over your ears. Um, you can have it under your hat when you're riding if you want something to protect your hair. Um, and really great for the minute, obviously, with the mask rule coming back in. You can have this around your neck. You've got lots of space to pull it up. I mean, obviously, it's not medical grade. Um, so, you know, don't wear it instead of like a medical grade mask if you've got one. But, you know, if you're running into a shop and you want to pop it up over your face, it's really handy for that. So, and like I said, I think it's really great for like dog walkers or, you know, if anyone plays sports outside um as well not just riding no, and yeah. the th another thing that i've i've got one of those it's not um I've, i have got one of those and it's useful that you can like as you say wear around your neck but i was i was trying to get in the shower at high speed the other morning and could not find a hair clip in the entire house because <laughs> this didn't work so i grabbed <laughs> by one of those and actually managed to tie my hair up with it as well mm -hmm. it's just like oh. that useful thing isn't it Mm -hmm. yeah and that's the thing and like I say because it's so you can just like scrunch it up and have it in your pocket it's something you can just like whack in one of your coats or have it on you know in a drawer on the yard or something and it doesn't take up space and you can just grab it chuck it um, you know away again um so it's just I think the things about stuff like this is it, it's got to be convenient for you to use it otherwise you won't so um yeah and I think that's what's really great about about it what how it's made and it just it comes in four colors so obviously this is they all leopard print which is not a problem in my books um so it comes in this gray and then the the other ones have the the actual leopard uh, shape in gold and they come in black navy and white very nice nice and they're 13 pounds so i think it, again it's really good price point i think really great you know if you're not a lot of people buy yard presents, you know, for like maybe a stable buddy or um, someone who looks after your horse or whatever. And I think that's just a really nice gift. I think someone will really appreciate it. And it's not sort of breaking the bank either for you. So definitely. No, I think you're spot on there. Oh, I love this. This is like um, the generation. Yeah. You ever had that, that conveyor belt? You remember everything. I just feel like someone's going to keep popping up. It's exciting. <laughs> well, so since we're on Sabo, let's keep going. So what they're known for originally is their knitted uh, headwear, so uh, hats and headbands. And interestingly, they started off in golf, and um, that's the world that they started in. I did not um, know that. Yeah, and apparently we have a lot of crossover with our needs for hats and headbands. Who knew? Who knew? You can't really see the cut. This is a really deep forest green, which you can't really see on the on the camera. But anyways. Um, yeah, so it's just these really beautiful knitted um, knitted hats. With these are 100% faux fur and guaranteed faux fur because they're made in Europe, um, and they come with these amazing fleece linings on the inside, so that you don't get itchy. Because I know a lot of knitted stuff can end up being a bit itchy, um, and also just really helps hold the shape because that's the other thing. If you wear a hat a lot over time, um, you know the knitted stuff can end up stretching, but the the fleece line is to help hold the shape as well. And this comes in like endless colors. There are really bright colors like this. Um, same with wow. the headband. It's the, it's the same knitted um, sort of pattern. This is like a cable knit. And then you've got, again, the fleece lining on the inside. Like a neon pink almost. Yeah, this is a, yeah, it's really, this is really hard to photograph because only camera just like can't pick up like how bright it is. But, and again, this comes, I think I've got like eight colors. There was like, black, gray, navy, but then there's pink, there's a really bright blue. Um, yeah, so there's like so many different um, colors and styles. So, oh, and 
leopard print, of course. Obvs. We have got a question. Um, loving your work, Becky. I want to know how are you finding TikTok as you are one of the very few people I know who post regularly great videos. Oh, thank you very much. Um, so I've just started TikTok recently, actually, because I feel um, a thousand years old when I go on TikTok. <laughs> it's like full of, of young, young teenagers that I don't understand. Um, but TikTok is really, uh, I, I've been posting videos that, um, like I make reels for Instagram, um, and I've been posting a few of those on TikTok. Um, and they've done okay. I think it's just something I'm, like I said, I, I don't really understand TikTok. Um, and so maybe I don't spend as much time as I should um, on it. But the ones I've put up have done well and, and people have responded. Um, but yeah, it's something like I, I don't necessarily understand the purpose of TikTok. <laughs> so it's, just fun. it's just fun. And you can lose an hour by just scrolling. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, hour, let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. And I, like, I think my algorithm is still like learning what I like. So it's like still a bit mad. Like, there are just some things that you're like, I d what is this? I don't know. Yeah. And then you're too far into the video and you twig what it is. And then you go, oh, no, all of clocks that I've watched how many seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been um, there. But yeah, like, I think I find, I personally find, uh, reels i guess they're the same thing though aren't they really just different platforms like my reels do a lot bigger numbers but then you know i have a bigger following on instagram than i do tiktok but um yeah i find the reels are, i get a lot more engagement um from reels than i think i do anything else really yeah no absolutely and your reels are, are very good they're good they're good fun to watch and it's a great way to show a kind of collection or show a number of products in a short and engaging way as well Mm -hmm. yeah and some things like i said some of this stuff is like actually really hard to photograph um in terms of you know colors or or trying to demonstrate actually the quality because i think there are things that are terrible quality that you can take a really good photo of um and so it's really hard to get across actually how high quality some of this stuff is from just a photograph um yeah. so i think videos can really help get a real feel of what that things actually look like Someone has said they are fab. They could be the same person. It's just saying Facebook user because. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> sort of fab. Um, as one person that appreciates it, if nothing else. No, lots of people do. It's just, as we, I think as we've said before, when we look for engagement, we look at that active, yes, this is brilliant. I shall click on that and I shall write a comment. Whereas actually, I know I see, oh, it's Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Um, <laughs> I know I see loads of stuff that I like and they make me smile, but then, mm. and I try and click on the buttons, but. Anyway, what else have you got to show us, Becky, before I let you go off and live your life and probably pack, um, as in not to go away, but because of the orders on the, because we are cruising towards Christmas, aren't we? Yes, yes, they've definitely been flowing in. I've, de I've been getting the one time of year that I suddenly, my number of mail customers goes through the roof. Ah. <laughs> I, I don't see it on the rest of the year, but they definitely make an appearance at Christmas. So. Definitely. Um, so next, I thought I'd show you just something a bit different uh, um, and a relatively new product, uh, the Clovis uh, leather riding gloves. Yes. And again, this I think this product sort of like really sums up what I've been look what I look for when I look for a product, which is like really high quality, something that actually works, that you enjoy using, um, and you know that you choose over other things, but that also look great. And you feel like, yeah, look, I've got something a bit different and I really enjoy it. Um, and they come in, so they're leather gloves. They come in these incredible um, prints. Oh, really um, cool. So is like, the back leather? Sorry? It's the back leather. Is the pattern yeah. we can see leather. Yeah, all of this is leather. The whole glove is leather. Um, so this is printed onto the leather before the gloves are made. So it's not going to chip off over time. It's going to, so obviously we know leather, it evolves and it, as you use it, it will do different things depending on how you look after it. But this will never chip off because it is printed directly onto the leather, you know, before they've made into gloves. Um, and yeah, so they come in this like amazing zebra print, and there's leopard, rodeo, there's, um, I've got some, they've also got like normal, normal colors. You don't, you, it doesn't always have to be crazy. Like this beautiful tan. Oh, that is lovely. Fair, people can go and have a look on the website as well. They're yeah. all beautifully photographed on there. Yeah. 
Um, and yeah, so they're just like these amazing, I've, I've never ridden in le leather gloves before. And like you said earlier, my, my friend Jo, who's my sponsored rider and also my trainer, um, she loves a leather riding glove. It's like totally converted, like will not wear anything else. And so when I got these, I was like, well, I'll give them a go. And actually I love them. Like they're so comfortable because they really, because of the leather, they really mold to your hand. Um, they're a lot warmer over winter, I find. I've ridden in these in absolute pouring down rain and they've been really great and grippy. Um, and I think they're just a little bit hardier than some of the other gloves you can get on the market because, you know, because of the quality of the leather. Um, and yeah, they just come in, like I said, in these incredible prints that are just like a bit different and really fun. And yeah, I really like them. No, I, I think they're gorgeous. And as you say, they still perform really well. So it's not mm -hmm. like you're compromising on quality because you want something a bit funky or you want to have a print. You can combine the two really well with products like that. Yeah, and that's like, like I said earlier, I think that's definitely, like, that's my number one thing. If if something doesn't work, then I won't have it. And, like, everything I have, I use day in, day out, um, with my horse, when I ride, on the yard, in the boots, in the deck shoes, like, everything I, I have, I wear and I use, so I know it works. Um, and I know the quality. So that's one thing I can guarantee of, that things are high quality and they're, they will do the job that they're supposed to do. Anything else you would like to share today or if you'd like to give us and or if you'd like to give us all the places where people can find you online? Yeah, so you can find me on, um, it's just Q Dressage, so Q, the letter Q Dressage um, on Instagram, Facebook, a, a little bit on TikTok um, and the website is QDressage.com um, and yeah, I've got some, lots of new and exciting things coming in January uh, some new products, some extensions of some of the ranges. So sort of look out for those, but um, I'm stocked up and ready for Christmas. So if you're stuck for any gifts, you know, I've got things that start at nine pounds, um, you know, lots of stuff, uh, the socks some headbands, uh, bags, um, hair accessories, loads of things. So if you're stuck for stocking fillers or any little gifts, I have a huge range and it's all in stock. So if it's on stock on the website, I have it and it will be shipped out to you straight away. So no waiting. Awesome. But thank you very much. Date for Christmas. So the, so I'm gonna say the 21st of December, but anything after that, I will send out straight away, but it's just obviously, you know, with the weather and everything as well, like I don't wanna leave it too late just in case, but yeah, anything you buy after the 21st will go out and chances are you'll get it before Christmas, but. Yeah, you yeah. just, you want to play if you want to definitely guarantee it make sure you get your orders in as soon as possible yes thank you so much for joining today becky it's been lovely to have you and thank you to everyone that's watched we're back with poppy weber tomorrow um at oh gosh she says i think it's one o'clock it is one o'clock and so hopefully i'll see some of you then um and yeah if not thank you so much for watching today take care